Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only and for those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel, I'll be providing you with some stock analysis and also a short trading lesson at the end, so please stay tuned. Okay, quick recap on the previous video. We looked at three important penny stocks to add for your watch list, one of them with uh, some tremendous growth uh, over the previous year in excess of 1400%. So please refer back to the previous video uh, for details of the three important penny stocks to add to your watch list. Today's stock analysis is for tick symbol CTXR, Citius Pharmaceuticals. This is a stock that I previously brought to you in a much earlier video in February and also has been featured a few times previously. So if you have a look at the screen, when I first brought this uh, stock to you, initially uh, the buy price for myself was $1.49 and that was on the 18th of February 2021. Right now we can see uh, it's close of play on Friday. It was... Um, trading at $2.30 and there has been some positive developments for this stock so we're going to look at those shortly. So we're going to start by looking at a quick recap of the company itself for potential new investors and also to recap for existing investors. So if we look at the key headline page here about Farm Citius Pharmaceuticals we can see here they trade on the NASDAQ under tick symbol CTXR. They're a specialty pharmaceutical company dedicated to the development and commercialization of important new drug products for growing markets so so right now they're in advanced three proprietary product candidates we've got the minor lot which is something that we've been looking at uh, quite closely in terms of uh, this product having a huge huge um, po uh, potential so if we look at the company highlights at the bottom we can see the minor lock is um, in currently in advanced phase three uh, clinical studies so they also have the CITI 101 minor uh, wrap um, product and they also have the CITI002 product which is being developed for um, relief of hemorrhoids. So further details and due diligence on this uh, company and um, in terms of the products was carried out in previous videos as well so please refer back there. So let's now start by looking at some important details that um, have developed for this company right now. Okay, so if we have a look at the screen there, we can see that the company had a recently on Friday, they had a, a proxy voting to increase uh, shares, 200 million authorised shares up to 410 million uh, shares. However, this vote did not pass, uh, which is important in terms of the meeting was adjourned till the end of June. So the CEO, what he said is in a letter to the shareholders, he said, uh, if you read closely in terms of the letter, he's basically trying to prompt all the uh, shareholders to vote for this additional 200 million shares in terms of um, giving the uh, company more potential for acquisitions and investments to be made possible. So that's the very, very strong indication that the uh, CEO has made there. Okay, so the next important uh, development I'd like to share with you is uh, some very, very interesting developments in terms of uh, institutional ownership. So if we have a look at this uh, screen here uh, from uh, the latest information regarding institutional owners, if you look at the right, we can see Vanguard have purchased in excess of 5 million shares. This is a new change. Uh, BlackRock have also uh, purchased just over 1.93 million shares. Um, Renaissance Technologies have uh, uh, purchased just under 1 million additional shares and we also have a number of other companies there. In terms of the largest transactions, uh, we can see that the largest transaction obviously on the right hand side was uh, Vanguard. So these are very, very positive developments for the stock. Going forward, these institutional investors are showing confidence in this company and it's also giving um, more fuel to the fire in terms of uh, the rumour that we're going to look at now. Okay, so in terms of the rumour which has been prompted by the substantial increase in institutional investors, this rumour is basically uh, appearing on social media, lots of um, chat rooms, also on Reddit, uh, and it's basically with regard to a possible Russell 2000 inclusion, certainly has been prompted by the increase in shareholdings from BlackRock and Vanguard. So. Um, what we're looking at here is this uh, does does sit to symbol CTXR fulfill all the parameters required to be included in the Russell 2000 index. So what I can share with you here that yes they do 
Uh, these parameters include things like um, inside ownership, they include volume, and they also include market cap. So the good news is this is a uh, strong these are strong signals for the stock uh, to be um, have positive strong upward momentum. If we get this news, th this will be a huge catalyst going forward. The next thing I'd like to share with you is the, the chart. So before we look at the chart, one, one other thing I need to bring to your attention is the potential risk. This is still a penny stock. It's still a high risk stock. Uh, in terms of the key risks, with the key risk could be no FDA approval. Again, with regard to medical pharmaceutical stocks, this is always a strong possibility. Uh, the other risk with this stock is currently as of yet, they are not generating revenue. Uh, we're looking at possible revenue generating revenue not till possibly 2023 so these are the key risks however the reward means uh, once it, it, the company does move towards these uh, revenue generation situations the reward and the potential upside is potentially huge okay so let's now look at a chart for this uh, in terms of uh, from uh, pre-december to present period we can see here the company just pre-december uh, was uh, trading quite statically uh, around the one dollar mark and from the start of the new year around february when i first introduced this stock to you on this channel we saw very very strong bullish movements uh, and at one price the, at one time the price reached um, a peak of just over two dollars and forty so since then we can see on the chart there momentum has uh, stabilized around the $1.80, $1.60 mark with a support around $1.50. And then since then, this has increased. We can see if you, if you look at the triangle shape there, we can see it seems to be set up fairly nicely for a, a, another momentum upwards. Uh, right now, close of play on Friday, $2.38. Uh, with this positive news and with the rumors, I do expect uh, significant growth going forward in this stock. Okay, the final thing I'd like to share with you now is the ch latest chart mill technical rating. We can see uh, on the screen here, the overall technical rating for tick symbol CTXR is a 9 out of 10. So that is uh, excellent. Uh, and this is basically based on the history of the stock performance. Uh, and in terms of um, the key headlines here, we can see that the long and short term trends are positive. That's looking good. Looking at the yearly performance, CTXR did better than 90% of all other stocks. Uh, it's also one of the better performing stocks in the drugs industry, uh, outperforming in excess of 93% of 775 stocks in the same industry. So growth is exceptional. It's currently trading in the upper part of its 52-week um, range. Um, so it's currently trading near, near, near a new high. Uh, so in terms of the previous three months from February, this stock has also recovered quite well uh, compared to the EV sector, the clean energy sector, the clean energy sector and the EV sector are still yet to catch up from the February highs. However, CTXR is very, very close to doing that. In terms of support and resistance in the middle column there, we can see right now support is indicated at $1.27. I personally would, would say support is $1.60, $1.70. Uh, and I don't see this stock going anywhere near $1.27 right now, especially with regards to the current news. So in terms of uh, resistance, it, it, we're looking at resistance of $2.42. So I expect this to probably break out from here. Uh, and finally, on the right hand side, we can see uh, in terms of the setup analysis, besides having an excellent technical rating, CTXR also presents a decent setup pattern. So we've seen that from the, the chart. Prices have been obviously uh, consolidating recently in terms of uh, volatility that has also reduced. Uh, uh, so let's now consider a strike price for this stock. Okay, so if you're looking to enter this stock, close a play on Friday, we saw that this was trading at $2.30. I do expect a strong movement up uh, on, the, on the start of trading uh, Tuesday. However, once there is a pullback, if you can certainly catch this stock around $2.10, I think that would be an excellent entry point going forward. So consider this at $2.10. And I certainly think this is also a, a stock to hold uh, for the long term in terms of good potential returns. Okay, due to an extended uh, stock analysis, the next trading video will be in the next lesson. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned.